Bugzilla is a web-based general-purpose bug tracker and testing tool originally developed and used by the Mozilla project, and licensed under the Mozilla Public License. Released as open-source software by Netscape Communications in 1998, it has been adopted by a variety of organizations for use as a bug tracking system for both free and open-source software and proprietary projects and products. Bugzilla is used, among others, by the Mozilla Foundation, WebKit, Linux Kernel, FreeBSD, GNOME, KDE, Apache, Red Hat, Eclipse and LibreOffice. It is also self-hosting. History Bugzilla was originally written by Terry Weissman in 1998 for the nascent Mozilla.org project, as an open-source application to replace the in-house system then in use at Netscape Communications for tracking defects in the Netscape Communicator suite. Originally written in TCL, Terry decided to port Bugzilla to Perl before its release as part of Netscape's early open-source code drops, with the hopes that more people would be able to contribute to it as Perl seemed to be a more popular language at the time. Bugzilla 2.0 was the result of that port to Perl, and the first version released to the public via anonymous CVS. In April 2000, Weissman handed off control of the Bugzilla project to Tara Hernandez. Under Tara's leadership, some of the regular contributors were coerced into taking more responsibility, and Bugzilla development became more community-driven. In July 2001, facing distraction from her other responsibilities in Netscape, Tara handed off control to Dave Miller, who was still in charge as of 2013. Bugzilla 3.0 was released on May 10, 2007 and brought refreshed UI, XML RPC interface, custom fields and resolutions, mod Perl support, shared saved searches, improved UTF-8 support and others. Bugzilla 4.0 was released on February 15, 2011. Equals timeline equals Bugzilla's release timeline. Requirements Bugzilla's system requirements include a compatible database management system, a suitable release of Perl 5, an assortment of Perl modules, a compatible web server, a suitable mail transfer agent, or any SMTP server, currently supported database systems and MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, and SQLite. Bugzilla is usually installed on Linux using the Apache HTTP server, but any web server that supports CGI such as LIGHTTPD, Hiawatha, Cherokee can be used. Bugzilla's installation process is command line driven and runs through a series of stages where system requirements and software capabilities are checked. Design While the potential exists in the code to turn Bugzilla into a technical support ticket system, task management tool, or project management tool, Bugzilla's developers have chosen to focus on the task of designing a system to track software defects. Mandated design requirements include, the ability to run on freely available, open source tools. While Bugzilla development includes work to support commercial databases, tools, and operating systems. The maintenance of speed and efficiency at all costs. One of Bugzilla's major attractions to developers is its lightweight implementation and speed, so calls into the database are minimized whenever possible, data fetching is kept as light as possible, and generation of heavy HTML is avoided. Tickets For instance, Mozilla.org uses it to track feature requests as well. In this case items can be submitted by anybody, and will be assigned to a particular developer. Various status updates for each bug are allowed, together with user notes and bug examples. In practice, most Bugzilla projects allowing the public to file bugs a euro such as the Bugzilla bug database for Bugzilla itself a euro assign all bugs to a gatekeeper, whose job it is to assign responsibility and priority level. Zero bugs, by design, Bugzilla is programmed to return the string zero bugs found instead of zero bugs found when a search for bugs returns no results. Zaro Bugs is a meta statement about the nature of software debugging. Bug tracking systems like Bugzilla readily describe how many known bugs are outstanding. The response Zaro Bugs is intended as a buggy statement itself, implying that even when no bugs have been identified, software is still likely to contain bugs that haven't yet been identified. 
The following comment is provided in the Bugzilla source code to developers who may be confused by this behavior, Zaro Books found. This is just a goofy way of saying that there were no bugs found matching your query. When asked to explain this message, Terry Weissman had the following to say, I've been asked to explain this. Way back when, when Netscape released version 4.0 of its browser, we had a release party. Naturally, there had been a big push to try and fix every known bug before the release. Naturally, that hadn't actually happened. Anyway, at the release party, T-shirts were handed out that said something like Netscape 4.0 Zero Boogs. Just like the software, the T-shirt had no known bugs. Uh huh. So, when you query for a list of bugs, and it gets no results, you can think of this as a friendly reminder. Of course there are bugs matching your query, they just aren't in the bug system yet. A Euro Terry Weissman, from the Bugzilla Guide A Euro 2.16.10 Release, Glossary. See also. Comparison of issue tracking systems. References. External links, official website.